Please thank Kings for joining us tonight. Thanks to Kanoa and Ben, and thank you for watching. We'll see you tomorrow night. Good night. Well then, I'm pleased to say it's a pass. Hear that, Gary? It's a pass. BTNZ proudly bringing you the project. Well, this is it, eh? Our final episode. Seven years worth of memories. I don't remember too much of that. But what I do remember, it was pretty fun. It's not the end, though, eh? We still got our radio show, our friendship, shared custody of Guy Williams. Who knows what the future will hold? I'm sure we'll be back. You know what, Ben? You're right. Tonight isn't about goodbyes. Tonight should be about new beginnings. Yes. I'll message the team and let everyone know just that, that tonight is all about... Goodbye forever, John Owen Ben. We're never gonna see you on TV ever again. Well, actually, there's plenty Goodbye of chance that we... Goodbye forever, 7.30 p.m. I'm really gonna miss you and I'll miss being your friend. We can stay friends. Goodbye forever, your practice. Two dads and I was your son A son that was made by a couple of dicks A son that you had when you were only six You treat me like a son that you're forced to get nude Shoot me with the flower gun broke into my room On second thought, that's no way to treat your son I'm going back to my real dad now, the show's done Send it's to the J&B Pouring out a Ben V in your memory You'll always have your regrettable tattoos. And I'll always have flowers stuck in my pubes. Goodbye forever, John Owen Ben. I really hope that God likes the name breaks in heaven. Goodbye forever, inside me it hurts. To say goodbye to the guys that made Andrew Little Balsam T-shirts. Goodbye, goodbye. I'll miss you, Daddy. Cancelled. No, 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 stand, stand, stand. They've been cancelled. This is like a final goodbye, like a last chance to pay your respects. Laura, stand, we're not going away forever. We're gonna goodbye. Sing along. I can't help it, bro. The song's real catchy. But what if they're right? What if this is our last time on TV? Actually, what if this is our last time to recklessly spend MediaWorks' money on stuff we don't need? Recklessly spend money, you say? Here's another instant reward from us to you. John Owen Ben is brought to you in a flash by Flybys. Tonight on the show, it's a 
your final goodbye. Don't miss the Prime Minister, Stan Walker, Sonny Bill, Mark Richardson, Mike McRoberts. One last prank and I collect my redundancy. It's John been over the past seven years. The savage TV industry has taken our souls and Jono's here. It has taken all my hair and all of Ben's excess body weight as well. <laughs> it's a cruel, cruel industry, but one thing is for certain, this is not the end of us on TV. No, no. Ben will probably end up as a contestant on Dancing with the Stars. <laughs> all right. And I'll probably end up on Fair Go. All right, yourself. <laughs> As a used car salesman ripping off the elderly. <laughs> they deserve it, those old buggers. Uh, no, it feels weird that this is our final episode of John and Ben. And yeah. if, you know, if there's anything we've learned today, as lovely as they are, petitions definitely don't work. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for your 16,000 signatures. It was lovely. But they meant shit all. <laughs> <laughs> now, we started out as a late night 10 pm show, filming literally in the TV3 garage. That's and true. it was complicated at times uh, because Jeremy Corbett was always wanting to park his eco car in there. Yeah. But we made do. We, did. we made do. Oh, God, mate. Sure. Get out of my garage. Take whatever it is you're doing with you. Thank you very much. We're just dining outside for a few. We'll <laughs> see you guys later. Good, see you. I'm actually joking. <laughs> yeah. Don't put it on the paper. What am I going to do this <laughs> And up there, ladies and gentlemen, about to break the sound barrier is Guy Williams! <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! Who's it going to be? Up here, I got the chicken. Who's it going to be? <laughs> yeah. I tell you, I will miss that garage. It yeah. will always have a very special place in my heart, Ben. Yeah, my too. But mainly in my lungs, thanks to the overexposure to asbestos. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Although filming in that garage meant, Jono, you could actually host the show and check on your hydroponic plants at the same time. Yeah. So it was lovely. <laughs> it was a very profitable time for the team. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you. <laughs> now, after a couple of years, we moved to 7.30 and people were saying, weren't they? They were like, that is going to be the death of the show. The haters were saying that, Jono. And to that. those people, to those haters, you know what I say? Well done, it turns out you were right. <laughs> yeah, it definitely was. You were right. Congratulations, uh, you oh, won no, this guys. one. Uh, but just because the show wasn't ours didn't mean we, we padded it out with any weird stuff. <laughs> go, Ben! Go, Ben! Get stuck in there! Come on, guys! Come on, Ben! Come on, Ben! Come on, ben. on an unnecessary yeah! horse. Yeah! What's up? <laughs> What's up? Yeah! Right yeah! Here we go. Here we go. Yeah! <laughs> We could have pulled out of those ideas and mm. stopped. You know that, eh? Jeez, we really were the adult version of what now, were we? <laughs> <laughs> but adults that would get sent to court for child neglect. <laughs> yeah. Now, when we went to prime time, there was a lot of corporate interest in the show, wasn't yeah, there? Was. But, you know, the good thing was we stayed true to ourselves. We kept our integrity. <laughs> yeah. And we didn't once sell out. Not once. <laughs> Burger King. Burger King's Burger King. Burger King. Burger King. My whole life I've had a close bond with Burger King. B-U-R-G-E-R. Hey, Ben Boyce's all new V. Now, these have been out for a couple of weeks now, Ben. Sprite! 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 The Helen Stein Brothers. Helen Stein Brothers. Yeah, we've got Helen Stein Brothers. Welcome to Helen Stein's. Oh, Holden. Holden, Colorado. Brand new sponsored Holden U. Thanks to Heineken. Our friends at Heineken. Yes, yes. Oh, God. Hey, uh, but thank you so much to all the sponsors who have helped us out over the years. Ironically, we'll be seeing all the sponsors tomorrow morning to apply for jobs, stacking the shelves or yeah. burgers. And on a completely
completely unrelated note, can we please send a shout out to my wonderful little children, Heineken and V. Yeah. And yeah. Ben's beautiful kids, Burger King and Arnott Shapes. Yeah. <laughs> my kids have no preservatives or artificial flavours. I love those kids. We love them. <laughs> but for the past couple of years, uh, we've been up against ratings juggernaut Police 107, where it turns out people would prefer to watch pixelated faces of drunk drivers rather than our unpixelated faces. <laughs> and you know what? This is controversial. What are you it's doing? It's very controversial, but I'm, you know what I'm going to do right now? I'm going to switch channels right now to Police 10-7. Okay. Okay? All A right. superior show, just to see what's it's happening on show. <laughs> Before we kick into Police 107 this week, let's take a look at this week's Least Wanted list. This week's Least Wanted is these two wannabe comedians who go by the names of Jono and Ben. Both have terrible tattoos and a love of bad jokes. One is very, very bored, the other has the body of a seven-year-old boy. Last seen Thursday nights at 7.30, but not by many people. In all seriousness, boys, all the best. And if I pull you over in the future, at least there's a chance you'll be on a top rating show for a change. We're going to have to commit some armed robberies, my friend. <laughs> now, it's been six weeks since we announced the uh, show had been axed with the John actually putting an axe through this desk. Yeah. <laughs> oh. God, we're still doing weird stuff. <laughs> <laughs> this is one of those padding out moments. <clears throat> Legend tells whoever can remove the axe from the desk <laughs> shall receive a TV show next year. I'm in. OK, we're doing it. OK, I'm in. Who I'm can in. pull this axe out? This is my chance. This is my chance oh, to make a TV show. Oh. 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 Well, looky here. Oh. Mark, Looks Mark. like old Mark's getting another TV show next year. How many are you guys getting? Well, we got, we got none, none next zero, year. Zero, zero. Zero. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> 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 you couple of losers. <laughs> <laughs> Mark Richardson, ladies and gentlemen. Always oh, great to see him on 19 TV. <laughs> now there's an axe in the audience. Uh, well, with the show ending, we wanted to, to find out what people really thought of John and Ben. Yes, so we went to West Auckland in disguise, and we'll see you guys after the break. See you soon. Today we've come to the mall in West Auckland ben. in disguise. Ben! Ben, I'm over here. Oh, mate, I didn't recognise you. <laughs> I've just been at a kombucha festival. <laughs> Can I buy some shares and apples? <laughs> <laughs> no worries, mate. We've come to the mall today. When you look at a photograph every time, does it make you laugh? <laughs> We've come to the mall today to talk to the people and get their opinion on Jono and Ben being cancelled. What's your favourite TV show? Not Jono and Ben. <laughs> Why would you bring up Jono and Ben? I think the disguise is terrible, guys. <laughs> well, that was a humbling experience. <laughs> what would you say to John if you saw him? I'd say, bro, um, pursue your dreams, man. What was your favourite part about John on yeah, I did like the pranks that you guys did on each other. You guys? What did you say you guys did? Say it to this. Hey, what's up, man? And? And what? What did you say? You don't know me by now. Holy shit. <laughs> Are you talking? Yeah! My man. Cheers, Bro. buddy. How do you feel about John and Ben being cancelled? It's a bloody shame. I feel like you haven't watched it, and now you just say that because the cameras are here. No, I'm not saying because the camera's here, because I know it's you, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> OK, well, I'll hand you over to this gentleman here. <laughs> oh, <John. laughs> OK, the disguises weren't good enough, so uh, Jono's calling Hayley from the show to see if she can come down and help us out. So if you could if, if you could come down here, because we'll just get you to play a reporter. Yeah, I can yeah. do that. <laughs> OK, well, okay. <laughs> so, so, so quick. If you could say to uh, the people that cancelled the show, what would you say? It's just wretched. <laughs> that stinks and it's wretched. And if Jono and Ben were here right now, what would you say to them? Oh, I'll give them a big hug. Big hugs all around. Hug it out, mate. Oh. <laughs> oh, <get> out, <laughs> yeah, what did you think of the show? Were you a fan? No, I think they suck. They need a quit. They suck. <laughs> oh wait, you're trying to hold this. <laughs> and so what would you say to John and Ben as they venture off into their new lives without John and Ben the show? I feel like there is um there might be a show that they, um, oh my god, this is so scary. 
Sorry, the cameraman's getting really, really close here. But um, if John and Ben were here, what would be your advice to them? What advice would they? I hope they jump out. Say it down this camera. Say it, yeah, say it to the camera. Are you guys watching? Yeah, You're watching. Yeah, we're watching. I mean, they're watching. Huh? Where are they? I have I no know. idea. Can I don't someone know get if they're them? actually here today. Someone should try and get them. Do you know where John and Ben are? No. No, I haven't seen them. Someone should try and get them. <laughs> <laughs> When we return, Guy Stock Sunny Bill, we celebrate the sketches that never made it to air, and I go and see a career counselor. It's the biggest night in New Zealand music, and it's right here live tonight. Hosted by Carnal Lloyd and Stan Walker. With performances by 660, Jess B, Sons of Zion, Drax Project, Robinson, Alien Weaponry, even Shafu in the Crates, and a special performance by Stan Walker himself. Don't miss the Vodafone New Zealand Music Awards live tonight, 8.30, only on 3. Pizza Hut's got new large $5 pizzas worth singing about. Bacon and aioli got me like holy moly. Beef and onion got me craving something. Pizza Hut, we're all about the pizza. Oh, yeah. Last chance to fill up your car with Harvey Norman. Until Monday, get a bonus up to $350 MTA Fuel gift card when you spend over two grand on cooking appliances and dishwashers from these big brands. Plus, grab huge deals on TVs and audio, refrigeration, washing machines and dryers, small kitchen appliances, vacuums, personal care, and check out our huge Coffee Month deals. You can also earn AirPoints dollars and get 60 months interest-free. Hurry, ends Monday at Harvey Norman. Carefully made to be broken. New Magnum Hazelnut Praline and Raspberry. It's a race against time. Comparing all your flight choices, Sam's visiting each airline site separately and knows how fast special deals can sell out. Cindy's gone straight to Webjet, where she can instantly see all her options, book the best value airfare, get her booking price guaranteed, and still earn frequent flyer points. It's time to make your own way in the world with Webjet. Ivy, Oxalis, Convolvulus, dead. Join the war on weeds. Take back control of your garden, New Zealand. Weed Weapon with advanced XPI technology from KiwiCare. Hold the phone. Briscoe Shopathon has been extended to Friday. There's 60% of all beach towels, all sheets, all mattress toppers, and all blinds. Don't miss 30 to 60% off at Briscoe Shopathon. Must end Friday. Son, you are missing out. Go the Warriors. Yes, go the Warriors. Go the Empire. Go the Empire. <laughs> go hard, sis. It's going to be a great gig. <coughs> With Vodafone, everyone gets the rewards they want. Awesome movie deals, VIP music experiences, and tickets to epic sports events. The all-new Vodafone Rewards. Go get him! You can definitely make a huge difference outdoors with our prices. Outdoor heater only $175, pot and colour just 95 cents each. Where you find a competitor's lower price on the same stocked item, we'll beat it by 15%. Lowest prices are just the beginning, that's our policy. Oh yeah, it's back. Our signature flame-grilled beef patty topped with melted cheese and delicious creamy mayo. Try our creamy mayo cheeseburger, only $1.50 for a very limited time and only at Burger King. Burgers, the way they're meant to be. Welcome back to the last ever episode of our show. 
Yeah, that's right. Now it's all ending. All of New Zealand's C and D grade crap liberties can finally breathe the sigh of relief <laughs> that we will no longer harass them to prank innocent people in a Briscoe's store. Yeah, it's all time now to welcome our good friend to the couch. Let's go, Williams! Hooray! What's, what's your oh, brother doing? Oh, I told you, steal the stuff after the show, you <laughs> dumbass. Yeah, I want to watch Jono and Ben. We're on Jono and Ben right now. Well, spoiler, I'm only up to season three. <laughs> <laughs> Paul Williams, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Big guns tonight. <laughs> Speaking of big guns, this yeah. year I've been known for my hard-hitting investigative journalism. But there's been one stone that I've left unturned, and that ends tonight. This week on New Zealand Today, it ends. Jono and Ben, episode one. I was sent to Hamilton to sing a farewell song to Sonny Bill. I'll say goodbye, even though I'm blue, even though I'm blue. Even though I blew. The stunt was an instant hit, becoming my most popular segment and starting a friendship that lasted for years. Sonny, congratulations on winning the final, mate. Take that cheese jersey off, you are a supporter. I am a supporter. David, have you heard what um, Sonny Bill Williams is saying about your mum? You better be careful what you're saying now. He was saying ni nothing but nice things. That was the scariest shit of my life. OK, I'm, I'm leaving now. I followed Sonny everywhere, even to Japan. Japan. Concrete jungle where dreams are made of. I actually flew all the way here to welcome you to Japan. Thanks, man. Welcome to Japan from the bottom of my heart. Until one day, it all went horribly wrong. Sonny Bill Williams unfollowed me on Twitter because I cyberbullied him. Why'd you block me on Twitter? Because I didn't like you, G. You block? Why, why, do you, why do you like me? Why do you have to spit on my face, though? Why are you going to be a punk, man? I was devastated. I'd burn bridges with my only famous friend. All I want to do is be Sonny Bill's friend. Can't say he's mentioned you. Near far, wherever Sonny Bill are. It's been seven years and Jono and Ben is cancelled. I've got one last chance to fix things with Sonny Bill, but he's in Japan with the All Blacks. There was only one thing to do. It was time to head back to Japan. Japan, concrete jungle where dreams are made of. There's nothing you can do. Now you're in Japan. Last time I went to Japan, I didn't know what I was doing. I've got toilet water on me. This time, I was ready. <laughs> All right, let's go hit Japan. Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. Sonny Bill Williams. Onki desuka. Onki desuka. Genki desuka. Genki desuka. Genki desu. Genki desu. Genki desu. Genki desu. Hi. Ohayou gozaimasu. Ohayou gozaimasu. Ohayou gozaimasu. Someone must have. Sonny Bill Williams wa? Onko desuka? What do you want to say? You speak English? Yes, I do. Oh, f***. What was I doing with that shit then? I don't say that. Sonny Bill Williams? You know where Sonny is? Sonny. Oh no, Sonny. I couldn't find him. Jet lagged and dejected, we regrouped in the hotel to practice songs to sing to Sonny. Welcome to Japan. Go. Maybe you don't sing this, huh? It's quite funny when I sing. For who? For for. We agreed that if we did find him, I wouldn't sing. Moments later, we got a tip-off of where he was. I think I know where they're staying. We found the All Blacks waiting for the bus to England, but no Sonny Bill. You guys, you guys seen Sonny? Not seen Sonny? I had to find him, and then... Sonny. How are you? Uh, John on Ben is cancelled. It's over. Is it? It's been seven years. I've been stalking you. We've had a long relationship. And I haven't really even thought about it, to be honest, but good to see you again, and... Uh... I mean, you say you haven't been thinking about it, but I, I mean, I've been thinking about you every day. You've been thinking about me every day, obviously. Seven years. I haven't really been thinking of you, to be honest, but... I've been thinking about you, and uh, I love you. Thanks, bro. And I just wanted to say, um, I'm sorry. I don't really need to say sorry. Is it I... too late now to say sorry? Because I'm 
Missing more than just your body. Not too long. Is it too late now to say sorry? Cause you know that I am sorry now When I won't cease Sonny Bill around I couldn't help it, I had to sing The music was inside me and I had to share it with Sonny one last time Sonny ah, ah, Bill Williams It was a bit too much at the end there, I'm sorry about that No worries brother I love you Sonny You too man, take care Can I give you a hug? Can I give you a hug? With the most awkward hug of all time, it was over. Me and Sonny were best friends again. It was time to let go and say goodbye. Forever. Thanks, Sonny. Go hard, mate. Go hard. Goodbye, Sonny. Goodbye forever. Cheers. What well, a guy. Amazing. You drank out of a toilet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you drank out of a toilet. Let's not focus on that bit. Yeah, yeah. Can I say huge congrats to Guy for coming up with a long recurring running joke that required to obliterate every last dollar in our production budget. <laughs> yeah. 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 Spent on a holiday yeah. to Japan. Yeah. Yeah. Days for that. It was worth it. Thank you to Sonny and sincerely thank you to everyone who's watched over the last seven years. You know, it's a real privilege and there's not many jobs where people come up to you on the street and they tell you they love what you do. And uh, that's never happened to me personally. <laughs> <laughs> but um, it was, no, everyone's been absolutely lovely and I really do appreciate it. Thank you. Oh, good. Uh, <laughs> Can we just say uh, a big thank you to this man? He's been here with us since day one. He was like the stepchild that Jono brought into the relationship. I had to have living costs. <laughs> yeah. You're a massive part of the show, not just your massive head. <laughs> uh, you are uh, Guy Williams. Thank you so much. Yeah, well done. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, we've made on the show were winners, but some were so bad that they actually had to be cut. <laughs> they had to be cut from the program. Yeah, here's a look at some of the sketches that never made it to air. Jesse, could you tell me about your design? Well, I don't know how to sew, so I just wrapped her in material. Get off my planet, you damn dirty vapes! We must take you back in time to when you were The Bachelor. Why? So we can make this sketch then when you were more relevant. Is this the guy referencing an 80s movie? Vehicle. Our story starts in the West Auckland suburb of Avondale, which is kind of similar to Riverdale. Shut up with your internal narration. You know that's why we call you Junkhead, eh? Petty gal, put on your costume, mate. It's a f crap idea. F this, I'm out. I quite like this one. Yeah, it's pretty solid. Go, go, Kia ora, good evening. I'm Mike Bid Roberts, and in breaking news, I have now reached an all-time low. Welcome to New Shrub. Oh my.
my God. Oh, jeez. Wow. We didn't need to play that. Tell you what. All terrible ideas, but when you put them together like that, yeah. you certainly can't deny. What? That is three minutes of television. <laughs> <laughs> You'll never get that back. Mike Roberts! It's Mike Roberts! Mike! Good to see you and to come along here with a nice heartfelt message for us. No, actually, I haven't. Um, I've okay. just put your couch on Trade Me, so... Uh... OK, OK. All right, you can take that now. I think could wait until after this show. Well, you've got movers as well. Yeah. Michael Roberts, do you want to give us a positive feedback on trade me or anything? Uh, great couch. Thank you. <laughs> Any positive feedback on the show? Go. <laughs> Go. Michael Roberts. Michael <laughs> Roberts. <laughs> uh, now, it's no question that Next Actor has been one of the show's most popular features. We've had almost every New Zealand celebrity do it. Mm. And I'm uh, willing to bet... Mike, more... can you keep it down? <laughs> Lord, I'm still trying to do the show here. probably email back tomorrow to finally appear on the show, right? <laughs> Here's some of the best moments uh, from Next Actor, and we'll see you guys see after you guys. the break. <laughs> Countdown where our next actor is Robbie Megasino. <laughs> okay, let's go. Open the neutral grain and just pour it into your mouth. See if you can scan it. There you go. <laughs> It's great. <laughs> hey, you've got such a cute little mouth. Catch it, catch it, catch it, catch it. Help. Pour a shitload of toppings into his mouth. Love m and oh. <laughs> Yeah, hang on, hang on. Try, try some more. Yeah, yeah that's the way. Oh, really good. <laughs> what sort of urine do you normally drink? <laughs> She's drinking it. Hey! I totally did it. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Christine. Oh my Christine. God. You just hold this for me. <laughs> Has he got blood on his actual body or just, just on his clothes? <laughs> what is this? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you look awesome. <laughs> there we go. Nice, nice. Oh, Robin Malcolm. Here we go. One. One. Two. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> How high can you jump in those? What, what? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You're meant to catch. Wow! <laughs> oh, no. oh. Come out here right now and we'll sort it out in the car park. I'm wearing a green hat. Yeah, well, you'll know me when you get here. I'm wearing a green army cap, glasses, <laughs> black T-shirt. You're about a minute away. OK, buddy. I've just got to, got to uh, pop out and get some. <laughs> Hello, fight! <laughs> Go for a headshot, Jazzy. Headshot, headshot. <laughs> Man, I'm out. I'm out. Oh. How are you two fighting? <laughs> so, ow, what are the boobs? <laughs> <laughs> Price check on G strings. <laughs> Price check on G strings. Thank you. Look up to that camera up there. And now that's you, John Allen. Big you. How long have you worked here, guys? I've got a couple of guys you can help me bury. <laughs> Still to come, the weekend five has its last hurrah. Stan Walker is in the studio. Jacinda confronts Laura, and I put my house on the market. It's male against female, comedian against comedian, with no common ground in sight. <laughs> it's a battle of the sexes, a clash of the chromosomes. You have a photo in your home office of Kim Crossman. Yes, but it's not that creepy. <laughs> this is a celebrity championship you won't want to miss. All-star family feud. Funny girls versus funny guys. Next Thursday on 3. Oh yeah, it's back. Our signature flame-grilled beef patty topped with melted cheese and delicious creamy mayo. Try our creamy mayo cheeseburger. Only $1.50 for a very limited time and only at Burger King. Burgers, the way they're meant to be. Unwrap Tecmo deals at No Limit today. Get 20 to 30% off these computers. Save over 800 on this HP Pavilion laptop. Plus 30 months interest-free store-wide, including Apple. With our expert service and selection, have a merry Tecmas. Only at No Leaming. The kids are going nuts. How far away are you? Sorry, babe. It's bumper to bumper. So frustrating. Uh, I can't get anyone to eat. Family life chews through the minutes. Doesn't matter. With my Flex prepay, I'm not shelling out for stuff I don't want. 
a maximum, dial down the text, and keep a chunk of data for me. Oh, uh, movement. Please hurry. Bye. You were a crusader. But now you get to be a thief. We hit the elite where it hurts the most. Their money. Are you with me? Bring me on! It's Robin Hood. Now's the time to get your sandals sorted for summer with a massive range of sensational summer sandals at only $40. We've got sandals for night, for day, for work and for play. Super Sandals, perfect price. Only at number one shoes. You want to use your money online, on holiday, on the go, but not on annual card fees. We hear you. BNZ Flexi Debit Visa, now with no annual card fee. From Bank of New Zealand. This week at New World, enjoy fresh savings. Like any three of these meat packs, now just $20. And save on fresh capsicum, grab two for only $3. Fresh week on now until Sunday. Enjoy Christmas. New World, enjoy better. The advanced new Mazda CX-3. It's built for the modern world and evolved to be ahead of the curve. New Mazda CX-3, evolved for you. Yours for just three easy payments. Get a $25 KFC SurfSafe Burger Bundle for your crew and we'll donate $1 to Surf Life Saving New Zealand. At Farmers, the home of Christmas, it's time to stock up with our All About Kids One Day Sale. There's half price kids clothing and underwear, 25 to 40% off toys and 20% off Lego. Plus heaps more deals store wide, like half price kids bedding and accessories, half price sleepy head beds and 30% off nursery. All About Kids Sale, plus heaps more deals for the whole family. Thursday only at Farmers, the home of Christmas savings. Good evening, I'm Sasha McNeil with your News Hub update this hour. Three Christchurch men have been charged with drugging and raping several women. We're hosting the 2021 Women's Rugby World Cup, what it means for the game and our economy. Plus, New Zealand and Australia's Prime Ministers come to an agreement over the Great Sausage Sizzle debate. Join us at 10.35 after the 2018 Vodafone Music Awards. And for all, just like Riverdale and Sabrina, we'll probably get a reboot in like 10 years' time played by hotter, younger actors. I don't know if you can get a hotter, younger me, Ben. I'm as hot as I come. <laughs> Wrinkly and a little weathered. <laughs> like an old boot. <laughs> You're just like contradicting yourself, but anyway. <laughs> now, across the years of the show, we've been able to occasionally make the news, more often than not by making a huge mistake, frequently resulting in an injury. Yeah, and here's uh, James Roque with our five most newsworthy moments. <laughs> James here. That's right. You know what time it is. It's time for Jono and Ben's last seven years and five. Here we go. Number five. That time Jono broke his collarbone filming a segment for the Auckland Blues. I think I might have broken something, bro. Really? Yeah. Yo, Jono's the only person to ever come off second best after a run-in with the Auckland Blues. <laughs> Number four, that time the boys did 30 hours of interviewing straight. Everyone Three, here watching. Two, two, one. Watching. Yeah. And we'd like to thank most importantly, <laughs> anybody that watched. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> the Saviour, our Lord. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Part of that was finding enough New Zealand celebrities to fill 30 hours of TV. No joke, on hour 20, their guests were 10 cute puppies. <laughs> Number three, at the time they sailed a bouncy castle across Lake Topol. After 12 long hours, we arrived to a hero's welcome, complete with over 500 water bombs. <laughs> we're Kiwi heroes, goddammit! <laughs> The critics actually loved that episode, though they were disappointed that it didn't end in drowning. <laughs> Number two, that time they made a parody of a viral video that got 20 million views on YouTube. I would argue, in an attempt to make an example of her. Right, so what does this all mean for the future of South Korea? So, the future of South Korea really hangs in the balance. Oh my god, is that a bomb? <laughs> and it'll be Goodness interesting me. to see how the North reacts to this new shift in power. 
That's right, that was Jono and Ben's biggest video ever, and I think it says a lot that neither one of them were in it. <laughs> and now, the number one most memorable Jono and Ben moment, that time Jono smashed Ben's house with a digger. You spin me right round, me right round. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Huh, and they say Asians can't drive. <laughs> and colleague, she's our frolic, Laura Daniel, ladies and gentlemen. Hey. Happy unemployment day. Okay, no way to sit. You, come here. Bring your seat. Yeah, up here now. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Oh, here we go. Hey, no, 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 you sit there too. This guy looks pumped to be on telly. <laughs> oh, right. Here we go. <laughs> been a huge year yeah. and I just want to take some time to thank the people that work tirelessly <laughs> behind the scenes, you know, crew, <laughs> seat people. <laughs> <laughs> but in particular, I want to thank one special person. I've had an awesome makeup artist this year and I would just love to pay tribute to her in my final sketch. I know what you're thinking. With the Jono and Ben show ending, what will I, Laura Daniel, do next? And before you ask, yes, going into politics and becoming the Prime Minister is a very real option for me. I guess that's why I've been able to do this Jacinda impression, or oh yeah, because Jacinda and I are actually so similar. Like recently, she did a very inspiring speech at the UN, and I also did a very inspiring speech at my friend Kate's 21st. I mean, sure, the makeup helps, but I actually think I already naturally possess a lot of the same beauty, charm, and charisma that Jacinda already has. Yeah, I don't really think you look like her. I don't really think you look like her. That's what you sound like. You don't really sound like her either. Well, what we do know, you're just a makeup artist. Let's do this. Teeth are a little bit much. Pretending to be the Prime Minister while Jacinda does everything important. Just like how Jacinda pretends to be Prime Minister while Winston does everything important. <laughs> Same thing. But can we just take a moment to thank you, Laura Daniel? Yeah. You are so, so bloody talented. Way too talented for the show. Thank you for your banger parodies, your impersonations, and hitting on hot league players for us. <laughs> we really appreciate it. Laura Daniel, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Oh, yeah, no, I just bought the place off trade me. I'm moving in. <laughs> we haven't even had a flat inspection. We haven't got our bond back yet. Yeah, that's all right, mate. <laughs> oh, well, I'm just going to pop upstairs for a moy. I'm a little bit tired. But, uh, good night, Ben. <laughs> good night, Timmy. Jonathan. <laughs> <laughs> Timmy? Whose mattress is that? Those stains aren't mine, OK? <laughs> <laughs> Timmy <laughs> Davis, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> Don't go away, the boys get roasted, the AM show gets pranked, and I cry while eating a tub of ice cream. They're all poly. <laughs> no. uh, what just happened? What do you mean, they em must all be poly. Em Emirates? Yeah. So in New oh, Zealand, right. poly means Polynesian. Oh, <laughs> Seven days, Friday at nine on three. A good run, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> At Rosine, a little test pot can go a long way to helping you choose a colour scheme. And more test pots than anyone else means more choice. At your Rosine colour shop. What's a New Yorker's favourite pizza? Philly cheese steak. Introducing Domino's Philly cheese steak pizza. Creamy cheese. Succulent steak. Try one today for just $7.99. $7.99? That drink is crazy! Pick up fresh deals at Smith City. Get this Aspen Corner Chase for $21.99. Save $4.50 on this Beko 8kg washer and this Samsung 65-inch Smart TV for $19.99. Plus 50 months interest free at Smith City. TC's credit criteria apply. Dogman Plus Care believes real winners care.
there's the win. They may be rough, they may be tough, but a heart of gold here from the champion. Dove Man plus Care. From the filmmakers of The Lord of the Rings comes a groundbreaking new saga. After the war, resources ran out. Cities were put on wheels. Earth became a hunting ground. We have to stop London before it destroys us. You want to die? I'm going to live. Do it! Mortal Engines. Whitcalls has great gifts for everyone this Christmas. Thrilling reads for the book lover, a huge range of craft kits for creative kids, or gorgeous stationery and gift ideas, plus everything you need to wrap it all up. Whitcalls, your one-stop Christmas gift shop. <coughs> Son, you are missing out. Go the Warriors! Yes, go the Warriors! Go the Empire! Go hard, sis. It's gonna be a great gig. <coughs> With Vodafone, everyone gets the rewards they want. Awesome movie deals, VIP music experiences, and tickets to epic sports events. The all new Vodafone Rewards. Go get it. Each day, more and more people are discovering fresh, natural A2 milk, made with only the A2 protein and none of the A1 protein. Many people say they can feel the difference. A2 milk, brought to you by Anchor. This Christmas, you went to one place and you got it all. With these vibrant bikini separates from $5, men's stylish boardies $12 each, and colorful kids' swimwear from $15. All bought from the comfort of your beach chair. Now you're scootering and you look good. Well done, you. Get more Christmas under one roof at the warehouse. Sunday on CRC Motorsport. It's the biggest horsepower party in Australia, the Summer Nats, and it's five-ton freestyle with Monster Jam. And take flight with the fantastic aerial acrobatics of the Red Bull Air Race. Your motorsport here on 3. You can stay. Can we keep it down, please? <laughs> hey, let's just wrap this up, okay? Do you know how hard it is being on the 17th most popular breakfast radio show at Georgia FM? Okay? <laughs> and this is not a platform for you to plug your shitty radio show, mate. Oh. Yes, it is. No, it's not. <laughs> Good night, Ben. Good night, Tavi. Jonathan. <laughs> 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 All right, it's our final show tonight, and we have been looking back at the show. And there's a lot of people, who, a lot of hardworking people yeah. who do work on the show, and so we wanted to uh, give them the platform to say what they wanted to say. Now we are idols to these people; they look up to us, <laughs> and they wanted to say a few kind words this evening. <laughs> R.I.P. Jono and Ben. The only time you brought down the house was when Jono literally crashed a digger into <laughs> Ben's house. Thank you, go on, go on, go on. Jono and Ben, when you sing, it is so great we can use auto-tune. It's such a shame we can't auto-tune your jokes. <laughs> Damn, if two straight white guys can't save TV, it must really be on its way out. <laughs> You guys aren't even that good at pranking. Jesus made us think he was dead, and then three days later, he was alive. <laughs> now that's a prank! <laughs> um, I actually think you guys are so amazing. Between TV and radio, you guys work countless hours, and I'm just really worried, now that you've got some free time, you're going to figure out that I'm having an affair with one of your wives. <laughs> I've worked with Jono and Ben for seven years. And I promised myself I wouldn't cry on the last day. That day is now here, and it's the easiest thing I've ever done. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. 
Jono and Ben, your dad jokes make me want to be more like my dad. Dead. <laughs> Don and Ben do a lot of pranks, and my favourite is when they prank New Zealand into thinking they were funny. <laughs> <laughs> As a Māori man, it's quite often hard to find work in television, so I just want to say thank you so much to John and Ben for consistently casting Tammy Davis in sketches instead of me. <laughs> <laughs> Jono and Ben, after all those mean jokes, I think you really need a happy song, don't you? I do too. It's our time, kia ora, oh, oh, Susie! <laughs> <laughs> we don't need your crap tonight, Susie Kato! <laughs> we don't want your positivity! Okay. Get the hell out of here! <laughs> <laughs> Last person I want to see! Go! Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, Susie <laughs> Kato! The show is on Lawrence Pranks, and this week before we went, we decided to do one last prank. We'll see you after the break. Oh, I feel like an animal. You are. Like an animal. We wanted to end the show with one last epic prank, and we wanted it to make the news. We thought, what better way to make news than by doing a prank on the news here at the AM show? We just heard one of the hosts is on their way to the studio. I hope they appreciate all the effort that's gone into this. It's Mark. It's Mark. It's Mark Richardson. It's me. Oh, <laughs> this is shit. <laughs> Holy shit. Stick them up, pop. It's the fun of loving criminal. Stick them up, pop. It's the fun of loving criminal. Note to Jono and Ben. I'm glad companies got rid of you. <laughs> One would not want to be hungover. <laughs> well, this is impressive. What actually is it? It's a classic John and Ben oldie. Holy shit. This is impressive. Your daughter came up with a colour scheme. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know if you can tell. Do you like what we've done with hey, the place? Gosh, Jesus, bright and here, isn't it? <laughs> this guy, yeah. this guy, hey, it's, it's an old device. idea, it's an old idea. Well, it is an old idea. <laughs> what a room reveal, though, yeah. Mark. Hey, how is this? I don't know if the colours are totally on trend. <laughs> <laughs> hey, oh, shit! Kiana! Kiana! <laughs> Numbling away to himself. <laughs> oh, yeah. Wait, wait, we'll just decorate the studio for you, Duncan. What do you think? Um, well, it's good time to do it. Yeah, two minutes to be <laughs> Have a great show, yeah, guys. Great show, guys. Love the show. Do the news good. See you guys. And you guys wonder why you're off here. I mean... <laughs> It's the AM Show. OK, good morning, New Zealand. Welcome to a new week. It's Monday, the 12th of uh, November. Thank you so much for choosing the um, AM Show. Amanda and Mark, uh, we've been punked. I think we're actually seeing the reason why I had to let them go. <laughs> <laughs> now on national television. <laughs> Welcome to House Rules 2018. And the first ever House Rules auction. The profits from the sale is going to be your prize money. All new House Rules premieres Monday, November 26th on 3. It's only a little bit over, mate. It's always just a little bit. Until you're on the receiving end. One times gold-coloured necklace and pendant. She was alive when I got there. Maybe they'll find a few less Ks would have saved her. Imagine having that on your shoulders. Everyone thinks they drive well. But I've never seen anyone crash well. Is there anyone we can call for you, Mrs. Crawford? I think speed's fine along here. I know these roads. I know these roads pretty well too. And I'm doing everything in my power to stop you from seeing the things I've seen on them. Can I see your driver's license, thank you? I'm getting a quarterback. You? 
Yeah, maybe. Mm -hmm. How about two pieces of chicken, chips, cheddar and gravy, red roll, and a drink? It's perfect. It's a quarterback thing. Nothing beats it. KFC quarterback. Nivea Man Deep Antiperspirant with Black Carbon. Powerful protection from sweat and bacteria. Up your game with the new Nivea Man Deep lineup. Nivea Men, it starts with you. It's him. Carefully made to be broken. New Magnum Hazelnut Praline and Raspberry. Start your Christmas countdown at Rebel's epic one-day sale with a massive 35% off the big brands. Take 35% off Adidas, 35% off all Nike, plus 30% off all scooters and skateboards. From 9 to 9, Saturday only. No one's got more sports gear than Rebel Sport. With Air New Zealand, you'll never miss an Aussie moment. With more flights to Australia than any other airline. Book now at Air New Zealand. We have been saving bacon for ages. Offering Kiwis a safe, reliable way to borrow money online. Well now, we're powering up. Improving our service to bring you more options. Save my bacon. A brighter way to borrow. Hold the phone. Briscoe Shopathon has been extended to Friday. There's 60% off all Philips vacuum cleaners and up to 60% off Brabantia kitchen appliances. Don't miss 30 to 60% off at Briscoe Shopathon. Must end Friday. Oh yeah, it's back. Our signature flame-grilled beef patty topped with melted cheese and delicious creamy mayo. Try our creamy mayo cheeseburger. Only $1.50 for a very limited time and only at Burger King. Burgers, the way they're meant to be. The clock is ticking fast, so... Join me or die. You're going to have to pick a side. No, I don't do sides. The biggest night in New Zealand music, hosted by Kano Lloyd and Stan Walker, with amazing musical performances, including a special one by Stan himself. The Vodafone New Zealand Music Awards, live, up next, only on three. Jono and Ben, the Vodafone New Zealand Music Awards, up next. Uh... But this is it, guys. After seven years and over 200 episodes, this right now is the end of Jono and Ben. Mm. I, I make it sound like it's... it's this Are we going to be show? executed out yeah. the back? <laughs> Shall I order a final meal? Uh, there are so many people uh, that we want to thank. Uh, yeah. And Ben is going to name every single one of them now, so set aside 25 <laughs> minutes, take it away from the You'd need two hours to thank everyone uh, by name. I mean, there's so many people that have made this show what it is. Yeah. Um, Firstly, we'd like to thank uh, New Zealand On Air and MediaWorks. Guys, without your support, without your funding, uh, you literally made our dreams come true, not only uh, on screen, yeah. but all the team off screen as well. So thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. New Zealand On Air, you guys. MediaWorks. We've done some crazy shit over yeah. the years. What were you guys thinking leading us to all that? But thank you so much. It's a horrible decision <laughs> to fund the really so We was, appreciate yeah. it. To our team, uh, on screen, off screen, so many people that work on this show. It takes a whole village. Uh, but thank you for your long hours putting everything in the show. We love working thank with you Thank you to guys. everyone apart from Tonya. She was dead oh, weight. Yeah, we should have cut yeah. her about two and a half years ago. We did have that conversation oh, like sorry, two yeah. years ago. Yeah, we should have. Yeah, I know. Anyway. You were right. You were right. Uh, this lady will, be ha will hate being singled out. Boss Bronwyn Becker. Yeah. yeah. Started the show with Bronnie uh, years ago, the three of them. <laughs> and uh, since then, it has been like a very strange three person. <laughs> Hour of we've laughed, we've cried, we've <laughs> argued, we've debated, and every week we've given.
Just to a very weird... ...on the show. Comedy television. To our families and, of course... Uh, I used to do this stuff. It's, it's, it's difficult for us, but um, and yeah. uh, last but get all that time on the show. Yeah. You guys, everyone who watched the show. Uh, Yeah, yeah, yeah. So many people. Wow. Well, we hope that we made you laugh over the last seven years. It's been like. A um, thank you so much for watching. We really do appreciate. It. But it's, um, thank you so much for watching. We really do appreciate. It. But it's not the end. No, is this it? is not. No. Can we just say no. this is not goodbye forever? No. It's not. Goodbye forever. I'm gonna miss you. I can touch the bottom. It's a miracle. Darling, I'll say goodbye. Good afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> No, I didn't. No, that's the door, I think you both need help. Like clinical help. <laughs> okay, sure. Okay, okay. 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 We're taking that track to the Palmerston North. Oh, yeah, good one. <laughs> <laughs> that is comedy on a low budget, right this there. This is the greatest moment ever. Oh, God, that's enough. <laughs>